Hey guys, what's she doing? Shh, I'm summoning the Holy Spirit. Oh, she knows you can't summon the Holy Spirit, right? Nope, but this is sure fun to watch. You've been watching me the whole time and you're just now saying that I can't summon the Holy Spirit? Yep. Mm. Ah, oh, you too. <laughs> Sabrina, the Holy Spirit isn't something you summon. It's not a ghost. That's right. The Holy Spirit is God. God? Really? I just thought he was like a cousin of God's or something. Nope, the Holy Spirit is God. He was given to us after Jesus went back into heaven. Yeah, the Holy Spirit is to guide us and lead us and help us figure out what's right and what's wrong. So then, how do you get it to help you? You pray. Like I pray to Jesus? Yeah, it's a hard thing to understand, but we have a three in one God. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. They are one, yet individual. Wow, I never thought about that. Now you know. And now you know. You don't have to stand there looking silly. <laughs>
You just tell God about your sins and ask for forgiveness and then believe in what Jesus did for you. Then you can tell Jesus you're ready to follow him and that Holy Spirit who came into those believers that day will be part of you too. We have an amazing and loving God, a God who wants to get to know us. This is why we have Jesus. And this is why he came to this earth to die for us, to clear away our sins so that we can all have this, so we can have the Holy Spirit in us. Jesus gave us the gift of the Holy Spirit. So while he was no longer here on earth, he was still with us through the Holy Spirit. Now because of him, God lives in us. What a beautiful act of love. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I just like to thank you so much for the gift of the Holy Spirit, that Lord, that you can live in us and also be Jesus and also be God all at the same time. And I thank you that we can just be with you wherever we are, that you are everywhere. And I pray this in your name, amen. Stay tuned because up next is the second chapter of the quest for Madonia. Last time, the quest for Madonia. Quest for Madonia? Never heard of it. Let's save Madonia, starting now. Uh, guys, is that supposed to be glowing? <gasps> oh, 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 oh. I think we might be in a board game. Think about it. You're all dressed like our players. Hear ye, hear ye. A historic joust is about to commence. <laughs> Scooter! Scooter! Oh. You, you are the greatest joust we've ever seen. Scooter the Superb, ladies and gentlemen. You, sir, have been deemed the greatest knight in all the land. And as such, you are about to embark on a daring and dangerous quest to save our beloved Medonia. What? The journey will be long and treacherous, and you may not make it out alive, but such risk is a small price to pay to defeat the horrible Neruvian Empire. Be warned, this is not your average game. And that's how I accidentally won a jousting match and became Scooter the Superb. Here's the thing, I'm not what most people would call hero material. I'm not very strong or brave. Ooh. I'm not even pure hot. Every weakness I have is going to cost me in a place like this. But these people don't know that. Besides, I have bigger problems right now. Presenting the winner of the joust and the strongest knight in the land, Scooter the Superb! I can't believe we're invited to the king's castle for a victory dinner! Technically, Scooter is the one who's invited. We're just tagging along. I so wish I was live streaming right now. Ian, did you forget that we're trapped in a literal board game? We just need to go on the quest, win the game, and get out of here. Ah, oh, yes! Our steam guests! Welcome to the castle of Madonia, my good fellows. Which of you might be Scooter the Superb, the valiant warrior who defeated the great Ivan the Invincible? Ah, uh, that would be me, your... your... Excellency! Your Excellency. But I'm not sure if defeated is the right word. What is this sorcery? Hey, I, I need those to see. You should trust him on that, dude. He's literally blind without them. Thank you, Leo. Very well, I am Lord Percival, and I serve as King Archibald's right hand. Let us eat and be merry before you embark on your quest to save Madonia. Yeah, about this quest. Oh uh, yes, of course. We must inform our guests of our perilous journey they are about to embark on. How could I forget? Centuries ago, King Archibald created our beloved Madonia. 
Our borders once stretched beyond the mountains, and our people knew nothing but peace and tranquility. And at the center of all was King Archibald and his jewel of Madonia. But then, one day, our Naruvian Empire rose. Their leader, King Gregorion, <laughs> stole the jewel and has been wearing it on his crown ever since. It gives him the power of ten soldiers, but without it, he is as strong as any man. So, it sounds like all we need to do to stop this guy is take the crown off his head. Ah, but take it, you have to get close to it. King Gregorian wears the crown day and night, and he is always surrounded by his royal guard. They continue their conquest even now, and we cannot maintain our borders any longer. Madonia will be lost if your quest does not succeed. Wow, no pressure. So... The quest is to find the king, take his crown, and get Madonia's power back. Seems simple enough. You'll never make it out alive! To get the king's castle, you must venture through the perilous plains and frightening forest and sickening swamp, and then you must go through an enemy camp filled with soldiers who will stop you in your tracks. All before you so much as arrive at the castle wall. So, all in all, not great odds. Hey. That's what you said about Atlantis, and we still found it. Come on, Jules. How else are we gonna get home? <sighs> okay, let's do it. Let's save Madonia, starting now. Woo! Good show. Now the time has come for you to embark on your epic quest into the unknown. Wait, we can't leave yet. Yeah, we're not ready to go on a quest. We, we don't exactly know what we're doing. Not to worry! Let us prepare for your journey. Gods, take them to the training hall at once! We haven't a moment to spare! Wow! This place is awesome. Look! Swords! And archery! Ahim! Wait, where are you taking me? You are a knight, no? A set of armor shall be issued to you shortly. I get my own armor? Cool! Oh. She's a little heavier than I expected. Whoa! Scooter, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. I just didn't know metal was so heavy. They definitely make it look easier in the movies. Okay, great. We have to do some serious training if we're going to make it out of there. Scoot, do you by any chance know how to sword fight? No. Ride a steed? I think you know the answer to that one. Fight hand-to-hand -hand combat? No. I say knowledge is my power. We're all gonna die. Uh, I took a beginning fencing class once. I dropped out, but... Perfect. That's the closest thing any of us have to experience right now. So let's go with that. Wait. Lightsabers don't count. Take that! <laughs> Why would you do that? I barely even touched you. Yeah, she's not going to end well. Wait, Jules, how do you know how to fight? Scoot, I was a tour guide when we first met. I dealt with insane customers all the time. You could say I learned self-defense on the job. Now, show me what you've got. Scoot, high fives hurt more than that. I don't want to hit you. We're going to be here a while. Riding horses is easier than you might think. You have to let the horse do the work. After the day I had... It's okay. You can touch him. Hi. Hi, horsey. Look. He likes me? I thought you would be training good, sir. Well, can I call you Percy? I don't see why not. Percy, here's the thing. I'm not what most people call hero material. I'm not very strong or brave. I'm not even pure of heart. Every weakness I have is going to cost me in a place like this. I'm the worst knight in history. No, King Archibald doesn't think so. It's not for no reason that you are the hero of the story, Scooter. You think so? Indeed! 
Indeed. Even in the most dire of moments, King Archibald lives in us. You shall never have to wonder whether he is watching over you. Really? Wow. Well, I guess I should keep training then. Thanks, Percy. I hate being called Percy. Well, guys, I think we're ready to go on the quest. Scooterly superb at your service. Wow, looking sharp, Scooter. All in the good days, what, well, young fellow? Safe travels, grand adventurers. We shall all await your return. Come on, guys, we got a king to shave. 